Dandy Pandy, with loads of unicorny rainbow emojis, says, So and so is just adorable. Anya Taylor Joy. Anne Helen Wickeser says, Why? How? So and so is just so damn sexy. Uh, Anya Taylor Joy. Uh, my question is you had a scene, uh, it's a very compelling scene where you had to have a kissing scene with him, and I know that you had trouble doing that scene because it was. I mean, you're dealing with such an intense actor, and uh, you don't even know who he is at that moment. I mean, to, to be perfectly honest, I don't think I had such a hard time with this scene, because I mean, James. It's like, we would approach each take kind of differently, and, you know, we were dancing together, and so he would throw a different energy at me, and I would hopefully, you know, meet him with it. <laughs> but, you know, Tell me your most memorable moment from filming. James and I sitting on this couch whilst they're doing, they're setting up, you know, a different uh, shot. And both of us were just exhausted. We weren't people anymore. We're both just sitting next to each other, like on this couch, just like, okay, yes, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. What did you do when cameras stopped rolling to pep yourselves up between days? I spent most of the time worrying that my career was over. So I did that. For, <laughs> I did that for fun. I don't know what you were doing. Um, I was getting pranked by James. James is very inventive. I don't have that skill. But um, yeah, no, he's, I, he's a pretty good prankster. To be f perfectly honest, and uh, I feel like we know each other now, so um, these guys would be joking a lot during in between takes, and I'm a super tense guy, and it would it would drive me a little mad because I'm like, you know, can we have to let's get back to back to this? This is a horrible situation. Let's get back to the horrible situation. And they're goofing around, eating pretzels, and jumping around. <laughs> Stop having fun. We yeah, need to Stop having that. fun. He made me out of Cheetos once. I, w I walked into my dressing room and there was my kind of like headshot. And then he had stolen clothes, I guess, from the costume department and like created my body and then just put Cheetos all over me. It's quite bizarre, but inventive. You didn't tell me that. Oh yeah. These guys they don't talk I just anything. I just sort of walked in. Right in the middle. There you go. Thank you. James and I first started working together. We started to make memes of each other to prank each other. And my favorite one was I would just take all of the Mr. Tumnus pictures and just post them inside of his room. So I see that and I don't <laughs> see the beast. I'm just like, oh, I trolled you really hard. Yeah. You kept pranking me. And I had to learn very quickly how to become a prankster because I was not going to be bested. No, God, no. So I just I just went for Tumnus. And I feel like that means you're both giving to each other. And yeah. there's like energy coming from her to me and there's energy coming from me to you and, and what I do affects you and what you do affects me and You're it's not reacting. just that I've got a root plan and I'm sticking to it, you know, and that's that's when it feels good. One of the 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 sort of legwork I did on split and then coming in here is it's especially, you know, in the scenes with James, it's so bizarre the natural patterns that you fall into with someone that you spent such a long period of time with and such an intense period of time with. So we're just it's actually really beautiful to have the two of us come back together and to feel that connection again and, and, and do it again. It, um, it really aids, I think. Own analysis, but I also worked specifically with a brilliant uh, psychologist in New York who had worked with DID patients. I met with her in a series of... I want to get like a Mew Mew campaign out of that, or like a kind of a Chanel campaign. I think you definitely or... could, babe. We had the energy, and I felt, you know, in terms of generosity of, of energy and acting, I thought you were like up there with the best I've ever worked with. You know, I mean, you were like so open and sharing in that moment. And yet we were really different. Like I'm constantly thinking about the camera. I'm constantly thinking about the audience, and yet we could still live in the same space. And I think yeah. that's one of the fascinating things about acting, because I have worked with actors that are like, no this is the wrong. only way to act. I'm like, well, you're acting on your own, mate. But you never do that, and I don't think I ever do that. We're, we're really good. We're great. Great. We're so good. I wish guys. everybody could be like Thank us. you, too. Is it weird working with James McAvoy when he's in that many different characters? No, because I love him and he's a brilliant guy.